Good afternoon. How, how are you guys? So excited, energized, being a, the citizen of this great nation, the greatest democracy in the world? So good afternoon, and thank you, uh, Your Honor, for your kind introduction. It is truly special for me to be here at this naturalization ceremony today. It is truly special for three reasons. The first reason is being asked to speak at this naturalization ceremony in the JFK Library. When I was youth growing up in India, President Kennedy was my hero. He was a source of inspiration for me in my youth. I could never have imagined an honor such as this. And thank you, Stephen, for inviting me. Give him a big round of applause to Stephen. <laughs> the second reason is truly special is having the opportunity to address you, my fellow immigrants, the thoroughly joining all of you as a participant in this ceremony itself. I became a citizen of the United States of America in Baltimore, Maryland in 1984. I'm using this, celebra I'm using this cer ceremony to celebrate my citizenship and to renew my vow as an American citizen. So thank you for this privilege. I can tell you when I became a citizen, I was overjoyed at the opportunity to pursue the American dream and was overwhelmed by the awesome responsibility that comes with being a citizen in the greatest democracy in the world. I will share some of my thoughts on those feelings later. Let me begin, however, by stating that as I look around you in this audience as a new citizen, I see the diversity that is America's strength. I see me in you. I see America's future. I see the diversity that is America's strength. We need to celebrate the richness of our diversity. It is diversity that makes us strong. It is a diversity that brings us together. When we are together, we can help shape a better future for America. And when we are together, we can build a stronger, fairer, just, tolerant and inclusive America. You are from here, from every end of the earth, from every country, and varying backgrounds and belief. But you're united in the fact that you are all dreamers. You are here to pursue your dream and to renew the American dream. I see me in you. Each of our stories are different, but we share a common bond, the bond of the immigrant's journey. Let me tell you a little bit about my own personal journey. I was born in India, but I was attending Aligarh Muslim University in India as a student. I met a professor from the University of Colorado. His name was Wolfgang Thron. He convinced me that I should go to America to pursue expanded opportunities and get a cutting edge education in the emerging field of computer science. So, even though it was scary, at the age of 16, I decided to leave my family and friends in India with $35 in my pocket. When I was at Boulder, I made friends and hung out with a number of immigrant students and supported myself by working in the fast food restaurants like McDonald's and Shakey's Pizza. I got my bachelor's and master's degree in computer science from the University of Colorado to pursue my lifelong dream of owning my own business. I did not come from a family that owned a business. I had no personal experience or role model in business. Therefore, I decided to do my apprenticeship and to learn the ropes by going to work in two large IT companies that enabled me to develop the knowledge, the skills, and abilities required to succeed in business. With that experience, I felt ready to go out on my own, and I purchased a company in 1994 in Washington, D.C. for $45,000. My wife, Debbie, who's sitting somewhere in the audience, and I had to mortgage our home to do that. I must admit, the first year were not easy. I worked 12-hour days, seven days a week, but little to no pay. There were some difficult and dark times, but we persisted despite the obstacles and the challenges. 
With the help of a wonderful management team I recruited over time, we built that company for one employee, me, to more than 3,000 employees and annual revenue of more than $300 million. The team of talented managers was central to everything. Success in business is a team sport. So when people ask me how I became successful, it's not me, but we who made it happen. It is America that provided me the letters of opportunity to succeed. I am a recipient of America's kindness and generosity. My story reaffirms the notion that America is indeed a land of opportunity. My story also shows that America is a nation of inclusion, openness, opportunity, democracy, and freedom. All of us can proudly and truly embrace these values and qualities of America. In 2007, after 13 years, I sold the company to Parot Systems Corporation. That still allowed me to move on to the current stage of my career, purpose through philanthropy, focused primarily on education, the arts, and a civic engagement. I'm reminded and guided by the words of President Kennedy, who said, to whom much is given, much is expected. So this is my own personal journey, my immigrant's story. I know that each of you has yours, but they are stories of grit and determination. But they're not just our story, they are actually Americans' story. With the exception of Native Americans, we are all immigrants. Given his Irish immigrant route, President Kennedy understood that completely. In 1958, before he became president, President Kennedy wrote a book titled A Nation of Immigrant. In that book, President Kennedy observed, the abundant resources of this land provided the foundation for a great nation, but only people could make the opportunity a reality. Immigration provided the human resources. More than that, it infused the nation with a commitment to far horizons and a new frontiers, and thereby kept the pioneer spirit of American life, the spirit of equality and hope always alive and well. I agree with President Kennedy's observation that we are a nation of immigrants. Let me add my personal observation. Immigrants make America a great nation. As I said near the outset of my remarks, when I look at you, I see, me, I see America's future. I see new recruits who will continue to push this great nation to far horizons and new frontiers. I'm an advocate of promoting the value of immigrants and immigration. I'm extremely positive about the future of America. I'm extremely positive because of the, because of the courage, tenacity, and indomitable spirit of you, my fellow immigrants, who I know are committed to being the best that you can be in everything you do. Therefore, from that perspective, let me make one request that is especially relevant for this ceremony and in these tough and troubling times in America. That is to be a 21st century citizen. This is an important request because a nation is no better than its citizens. In fact, the citizens of the nation, whether it's a farmer, a factory worker, an entrepreneur, a teacher, an immigrant, a politician, we are all citizens and how we assemble ourselves and what we accomplish defines the fabric, psyche, and the soul of the country. Over the past few years, there have been a lot of complaints regarding our politics, our politicians, our government, and some of the criticism is warranted. On the other hand, we must remember, the United States of America is a representative of democracy. At the end of the day, we get the politicians and the government we deserve. If we do not like things in this great democracy of ours, we can change them. That is our right and responsibility as citizens. President Kennedy said, in a democracy, every citizen, regardless of his interest in politics, holds office. Every one of us is in a position of responsibility. The kind of government we get depends on how we fulfill those responsibilities. I ask each and every one of you 
to fulfill these responsibilities by being a 21st century citizen who plays in three to one league. Be informed, do your homework, and get all the facts. Be independent, exercise your personal judgment. Be involved, get engaged proactively on issues that matter to you. When you commit to being a 21st century citizen and playing in that league, you'll be renewing America and the American dream. On this day of days, you are becoming fully invested in that dream. And as immigrants and the future of America, I know that you'll make great contributions to ensure the dream is even stronger and better for the citizens of this immigrant nation. So thank you very much for allowing me to share this special day with you and telling you what I see. I wish all of you a continued success. And God bless each and every one of you, and God bless United States of America.